And it's time for a parcel opening. I haven't done one of these for a little while. Let's see what I can find to open it with. There we go. Let's see. BC Robotics. Let's see what I got here. And jumpers for the project board. And headers. Let's take them out of there because you'll never see them otherwise. There we go. Headers for an Arduino project. Excellent. do some soldering but first an LCD panel I bought some time ago Let's get started hooking it up here. Just going to see if I can compile the sketch here. Well, we need to test our conglomeration of parts here. So I am going to open up the Arduino IDE, and I've already got a sketch loaded in here that I was playing with, so let's have a look at it. I'll give a real quick overview of it. We see the standard setup. We're looking for the Arduino header files, and then there's this one, u8g2lib.h. This is the LCD libraries for GLCD. Some setup for SPI and wire, and then there's this funky looking thing here with all this hex code. What is it? Well, it's an embedded bitmap. 
and I wouldn't want to do an awful lot of these, at least not with an UNO, as UNO doesn't have a lot of memory, and you'll see when it's compiled why I don't want to use a lot of embedded graphics. Setup of the library, very basic, and then there's a subroutine called draw, which actually writes our bitmap out. Standard setup routine, setting up the library, and then our loop. And down here, we're just re re constantly calling draw to make sure that we draw our bitmap out. Nothing spectacular. So let's compile the sketch and see what happens. There we go. And you can see here why I wouldn't want to use too many embedded graphics, at least not on an UNO. The sketch uses 8206 bytes, or 25% of program storage space. And that's basically the bitmap doing that. Global variables use 1441 bytes, which is 70% of dynamic memory. Again, that's the bitmap doing that, and why I wouldn't want embedded graphics in my sketch, at least if I'm using an UNO. Let's upload and see what happens. Loading, and there we go. And you can see on the screen we have the office written on the left hand side. And there's a picture of somebody sitting at a desk, presumably an admin assistant, and somebody walking in with a briefcase. Do this without. Yeah. So the test worked onward and upward with the rest of the programming.